hello everyone so this is the question uh, we have to analyze the output voltage this is the configuration cmos inverter is given and the thing given is that t is very very greater than rc and this is the input that is given v in equals to v in is getting from 0 to 5 volt and then sinusoid input 5 sin omega t basically okay so try analyzing uh, try analyzing it by your own just giving you a hint just try to break it in three region from 0 to 1 volt from 1 to 4 volts and from 4 volts to again 4 volt because this is sinusoid from 0 to 1, 1 to 4, 4 to 4, 4 to all the way down to minus 5 and again that. So you have to analyze it for 0 to t. So how you will analyze it? The first condition we can see is that when your v in is from 0 to 1 volt and v in is 0 to 1 volt, okay, this NMOS will be of and PMOS will be on. Now you don't need to, if they are asking about these kind of uh, inputs, you don't need to worry about the condition like PMOS will be on but will it be linear or saturation. That they don't want to know. They just want to know the steady state output. The steady state output. What will be V0 steady state? If NMOS is off and PMOS is on, what will be V0 steady state? This will be on and the, the, let us assume this is 5 volt only. Okay. So what will be V0 steady state? It will be 5 volt, right? This is 0, the, the, uh, this is 0 to 1, let us assume this is 0 0.5. This is on, VSG is 4.5, so this is on and this is off. So if this is on, this will, this capacitor will charge all the way up to 5 volt. So this is the steady state value we, we need to know. So we will just draw the steady state value. So for V in equals to 0 to 1 volt, we have V naught equals to 5 volts, right? This is the 5 volt. And secondly, when V in is greater than 1 and less than 4 volts, okay. So in this condition, from 1 to 4, greater than 1 or equal to 1. So this will be on, this will also be on. PMOS is on, NMOS is on. PMOS is on and NMOS is on. Now if V in increases, V in increases, that means, V in increases, we can do one thing. This we can call IDP, and this we can call ID IDN, and this we can call IDC. Okay. So if V in increases. ID and increases and if V in is increasing here VSG value is getting less VSG is getting less and here VGS is getting up here VGS is getting up so in case of NMOS the current increases but in case of PMOS your VSG is getting less if VSG is getting less that means your current is decreasing and your IDP is decreasing so these two things are happening if V in is increasing IDN is increasing IDP is decreasing okay if idp is decreasing that means let us assume this is 1 ampere this is 4 ampere so there has to be 3 3 ampere current from this side right this is 1 ampere this is 4 ampere so there has to be 3 ampere current from this side right so that's why we have made the direction of idc like this so that means your idc increases right that means capacitor starts discharging so initially it was charged to 5 volt now till what value it can discharge it was charged to 5 volt right this was charged to 5 volt so till what value it can discharge 0 volt because this is the CMOS inverter and this is the correct, correct CMOS inverter and you can also see this is the drain terminal ok so the the condition for MOSFET to be on and off doesn't depend on the drain terminal, right? The condition of, for NMOS or PMOS to be on or off, it doesn't depend on the drain terminal until your VSD or VDS is greater than 0. So if it goes to 0 volt, your VSD would be greater than 0 and your VDS would also be greater than 0 until it goes to 0 volt, right? So from 5 volt to it completely discharges to 0 volt. 
so that's how it starts goes down and completely discharges to zero volt yeah fine so this is for 1 to 4 volt okay so your v note steady state would become zero volt this is the second one and now here we will see v in greater than 4 volt and less than 5 volt okay from 4 to 5 what will happen if it is 4.1 this will be off your pmos would be off and your nmos would be on okay now if if this is on but what is the value of v naught v naught is already 0 volt so what will happen it will remain at 0 volt only right this is off and this is on there is no supply here in case of and most there is no supply this 0 volt will remain at 0 volt only this is the condition huh? this is the condition upper one is off so if this is at 0 volt this will remain at 0 volt only right so this will remain at 0 volt so v note remains at 0 volt ok so this is the condition and for fourth one is if v in is negative if v in is negative from 4 to 5 volt that means we have analyzed for this 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 span right we have analyzed for this complete for half cycle if v in is negative then your <coughs> this will be on yeah if your yeah, if your VIN is negative, then your PMOS will be on. PMOS on and NMOS is off. That means your V0 steady state would be 5 volts, right? If this is on and this is off, so your V0 steady state would be 5 volt. Okay? Just we are analyzing it for these kind of VIN is negative, so it will be V0 steady state would be 5 volt. Okay? So let's see it here. So, for this cycle we have seen, after that your VIN is greater than, v, your VIN is between 4 to 5 volt. When your VIN is between 4 to 5 volt, what is your V0 remains at 0 volt only. So, your V0 will remain at 0 volt only. Okay. So your V0 is remaining at 0 volt. Now your V in is between 1 to 4 volt. If your V in is between 1 to 4 volt, what happens is that the capacitor starts discharging. Uh, now we are getting no no. From 4 to 1 we are going, right? V from 4 to 1 we are going. From 4 volt to 1 volt. So for let us assume at 3.9, what will happen? 3.9. This will also be on and this will also be on right but the value of v in is getting decreased now look v in is we are going from 4 to 4 volt to 1 volt right we are going from 4 volt to 1 volt so at v in equals to 3.9 volt both are on right pmos is on and NMOS is also on. Okay. If V in is decreasing, V in is decreasing, if V in is decreasing, then this current in current in NMOS is decreasing and the current in PMOS is increasing because if V in is decreasing, then your VSG is increasing. So current in NMOS, PMOS is increasing and in your NMOS is decreasing. So let us assume this is 4 ampere, this is 1 ampere. 
so 3 ampere has to go down in this direction right right so capacitor charges if your vn is decreasing that means your idn is decreasing and your idp is increasing that means your capacitor charges so it's charges and charges charges up to charges up to what volt 5 volt right so from we are coming this is the fifth condition from 4 to 1 volt the capacitor charges and it will charge up to 5 volt so it will charge up to 5 volt one more thing we can do here is that now if we are coming down from 1 to 0 volt uh, this is the condition V in is coming down to 1 volt to 0 volt so let us assume zero volt so let us assume at 0 0.9 at 0 0.9 volt what will happen this PMOS is on and this is this is off okay so if this is on then your V naught steady state would be 5 volt only when V in is 0 0.9 so this is NMOS is off and your PMOS is on so here your NMOS is off and your PMOS is on that means your V naught steady state is 5 volt only right and for the negative cycle what happens for the negative cycle v not steady state is 5 volt only now it will always remain at 5 volt till time t this is the time t so till time t it will remain at 5 volt only right did you understand it Let us call this time T1, T2. These are the time span. So I hope you can see the curve now. Okay. So this is not that uh, complex problem, but just we need to see from 0 to 1 volt we are going, PMOS is on, NMOS is off. So it will remain at 5 volt. From 1 to 4 volt we are coming, from 1 to 4 volt we are going. So both of the transistors are on. PMOS is on and MOS is on but you need to see the current if VIN in increases your IDN in is increasing that means your capacitor is getting discharged so it will discharge from 5 to 0 volt only okay now the third condition is that when we when we are going for 4 volt to 5 volt if we are going from 4 to 5 your PMOS is on and NMOS is PMOS is off and NMOS is on if NMOS is on there is no supply so it will remain at 0 volt only now we are uh, from 5 to uh, from 4 to 5 then we are coming from 4 to 5 and then from 5 to 4 right we are coming down from 5 to 4 then it will remain same only because the PMOS is off and NMOS is on now we are coming down from 4 volt to 1 volt okay from 4 volt to 1 volt we are coming down so at let us assume at VIN equals to 3.9 what happens PMOS is on and NMOS is on so if VIN is decreasing then your IDN is decreasing IDP is increasing then your capacitor is, uh, is charging then it charges from 0 to 5 volt then after 1 volt what is happening from 1 to 0 volt both of the uh, NMOS is off and PMOS is on that means your capacitor charges so steady state value is 5 volt so it will remain at 5 volt and in negative cycle we have already seen your V naught remains at 5 volt only so this is how it goes okay and this thing that I have written here should not come here it should come in last right forget that we will write down here only what we will write down this will be the sixth point if V in is negative that means your PMOS is on and your NMOS is off then V note steady state would be 5 volt only ok so this will be fifth and this will be fourth 
this should be erased okay so this is the complete analysis i hope you have understood it this was a very good question okay thank you